Hey you guys, today I'm going to teach you how to build a calendar in Google Docs. Now a lot of people are like, ah, why would I ever build a calendar in Google Docs? Well, there are a lot of reasons. One, you can print it off and have it offline so you can take notes. I love taking notes, especially during meetings. It's an easy way for me to visualize my calendar right there. A lot of people want it in their business plan or other things. Well, you're in luck. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a calendar in Google Docs. So first, go to Google Docs, google.com slash docs. I would start by renaming. Up in the top left hand corner, you'll see rename this document or untitled document is what it usually is. I wanna rename that whatever the month is that I'm doing. And the reason why I do that is so that if I have a problem or I can't remember it later down the road, I can search for that and easily find it. Next is to enter your month's name. You know, in, in this case, I'll start with January because that's very, very easy. So enter January underneath the name of the month, head over to insert and click on table. Now you'll notice uh, you'll need to move your cursor over to your table is seven cubes at the top and at least six spaces down. So you, again, you'll want to play around with that. Again, uh, seven cubes at the top and at least six spaces down. Now this will leave room for every single month and you can clone this down, down the road. Some months may need, may need more, some may need less. Also, if the first of the month starts on like a Thursday, Friday or Saturday, you can, you know, you're going to need that extra space. So make sure you're adding that extra space again, seven over, six down to allow yourself enough space. Uh, next, you can go ahead and start adding the dates of the week. Um, so, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, I like adding that in. Um, next, you can add in the proper information in the boxes, uh, you know, first, second, third, fourth. When I'm doing this, I also like creating, you know, different numbers for the end of the previous month and the next couple days of the next month. That way I can take this information, I can know what's happening a little bit before the month starts, a little bit at the end of the month. So, you know, it's not just starting a brand new month, you know, those kind of correlate together. Next, you should repeat those steps for the next remaining months. So if you're creating this for 12 months, you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, blah, blah, blah. You'll want to do that for every single month. So, you know, you'll want to add a new page, a new page, a new page, a new page onto Google Docs. That way you can create one of these for every single month. This is a little bit of work and will take you a little bit of time. When I did this, it took me about 15 minutes to do every single month, enter in all the dates, all the numbers, and get all my data in one place. Next kind of word of caution, I would recommend using Google Docs and not Google Sheets. I've tried doing it on Google Sheets. There's just no really easy, good solution for you to do this. Another good thing I like doing is, you know, one thing in the Google Sheets is for more of an editorial calendar. Um, that's where it allows you to select the dates, but it doesn't actually have it in the physical box form that I like when I'm actually creating my Google Calendar. Next you can create different templates. Now, if you go to add-ons and then uh, get add-ons, there's lots of different add-ons that you can search. There's actually a store for add-ons. Um, if you type in there uh, work schedules or schedules or calendar, I found that there's actually thousands of different templates of people that have come before you that have created these. Don't worry, you can upload your own as well, but I like using the work of other people. It makes my job a whole lot easier. You can search this in the add-on store. It's easy, again, type calendar or work schedule and you'll find hundreds in the templates gallery. If you can't find the templates that you need, uh, select in the templates gallery, the add-on has a wide variety of calendar templates. For example, it has yearly schedule of events, monthly calendar budget, academic calendars if you're looking for that, shift work calendar, or a meal planner. So those of you who, if you're trying to plan out your meals for the entire month, you can obviously search for meal planner and you'll find a variety of different templates where it has calories, has intake, has different meals planned on that calendar. So it's a great way to search for that. To select this, click on the plus free button in the top right hand corner. After sign in, you'll uh, see an arrow, you'll need to click allow. So make sure you click on that allow button, it will show you what you're doing. Uh, the next add-on will be installed um, uh, and it's found under add-ons. So in the top right next to help, click on add-ons. After selecting the calendar, you just wanna click on Google Drive um, it'll bring up a little pop-up. It says uh, copy to Google Drive. 
you want to click on that little blue button right there. It's pretty easy. Next, if you can't find what you're looking for, search in Google Sheets. So I like typing in Google, um, you know, Google Sheets, you know, find this, search this. There's lots of different templates page. Google has made this really, really easier, easy for you. So finally, uh, you know, last and you know, last on this. If you're having a problem with this, there's or you want to create additional ways to look at this. Look at things like Ift as well as Zapier. They have lots of different integrations where if you go on Zapier.com and you search calendar or calendar template, they have lots of different things that can automate everything that's on your calendar and drag it over into this new Google Doc that you have created. So you can take all that online content that you have, put it offline so you can have notes, create a meal planner or everything you do. You guys, I wish you good luck in this. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. I would love to help you guys out and best of luck creating your calendar and Google Docs. Thanks guys.